Hey there ladies and gentlemen, my name is Aaron Knight and right here I am talking to you guys about well, I heard about Angry Joe. Yeah, I heard about that controversy. I pretty much I like Angry Joe and everything. I like his reviews and everything, but this is a little tantrum he's throwing. Come on dude, why are you fighting your audience for? Why are you doing this? You never go ahead and fight your audience. Damn boy, you all oh, we all do learn this. Never fight with the audience, but at the same time, you got to know your specs too. But if you're going to a two-month hiatus, like, you know, you're saying, oh, I'm going to take a two-month vacation. I can understand that, pretty much putting a lot of work into it. But if that's a thing that's pretty much bringing in views and everything, your reviews, like your angry reviews, dude, don't, like, don't lash out at, don't lash out at the people that made you this. Come on. Don't, don't, don't be a prick. Jesus. That's like. That's pretty much a little, like the basic thing. If you got popular by the one thing, then just focus on that. That's yeah. That's pretty much just do that. God, that's still messed up though. She's always being a big douchebag and everything. Oh, but either way, like pretty much, I'm just gonna throw in my own opinion in there and everything and all that sort of stuff. But yeah. Oh, like don't be a prick. I can understand that you know, like you're saying, oh yeah, like it takes a lot of like money and everything to do that but yeah it's called an investment you invest on things you invested your time on angry reviews and look, look at it, it it actually worked but if you go ahead and, and do other stuff like you know your angry movie reviews and all that sort of stuff like well, actually not really angry movie reviews that would be pretty freaking awesome like like reenacting scenes from the movie and everything just like the nostalgia critic like that that would be pretty pretty good and everything but just talking about the movie and everything, just like a regular another, other people like IG and all that sort of stuff. Like, I know it takes time and everything, but that's just quick, like quick, quick stuff. Like, dude, we pretty much we well, again, I became a fan by watching the angry reviews. I pretty much like the Destiny review. That that was that was superly funny, and the original Injustice. Yeah. Oh God. But either way, like, just don't don't why why get mad at your fans? That's why I I don't get that when people lash out of back at their fans like I never got that it's like yeah I can't understand all that sort of stuff like but it's you dude like if people want the content that they subscribe to you then you gotta make the content that people subscribe to you that's the only way this works well that's a whole way, a whole way YouTube works in general but at the same time like we can't force them to do what made them big but at the same time if we're here to watch what we came here for, like, you know, the angry reviews, yeah. I'm gonna pretty much say that much, that angry reviews are pretty much why you, why you made a big angry Joe. Don't get, don't get a little bit, little throwing tantrum. I'm just, okay, pretty much all this in a nutshell, angry Joe's just throwing tantrum. That's all I'm getting from it because I saw and all that sort of stuff. It's like, dude, why disable your comments and your dislike bars? It's like, why? That makes no sense. Why do that? Like, I never. Why? You're just throwing more fuel to the fire with that. You're not advocating everything all that good. You're fitting more to the trolls and everything, and you're fitting more like this. This, this is pretty much a double-edged sword. You're what you're doing right now. You're not focusing on the true fans, and you're, you're putting you're, you're just fitting all, all the trolls and everything. You're just giving them more fuel to the fire. It's like. Respond to the trolls. Oh, look, he's responding to us. Let's become more annoying. Yeah, let's become so annoying, in fact, that we're going to take over his channel. And we're going to ruin it to pretty much bring it all the way down. That's all I got from it. That That's all I really got from it. That's pretty sad, I know, but hey. Uh, you you could have done a little bit something better than that, but it, it is what it is. At the same time, his show is, like, if you look at his channel lately, he hasn't getting, like, it, Pretty much angry reviews is the only thing that's making him big. That's the only thing. Look at other stuff like, you know, his reviews, his and pretty much his movie reviews on them to like video game, like the previews and all that sort of stuff. Then I get as much as views as the actual other videos. I noticed that lately. Have any of you noticed that lately? But yeah, the way he, the way Joe's doing it, he's not doing it right. You just you could just focus on the real true fans that pretty much support you and supported you and everything. Now I don't think most of most of them don't even support you now. I pretty much just saying that much because well, if you guys support Angry Joe, support him all the way. What he's even doing right now because 
what he's doing right now, he's not handling the situation very good at all. No matter what, what no matter what anybody tells you, he's not handling it good at all. And uh, I'm just gonna say this much: like, don't he just threw a tantrum and everybody just reacting to it, and um, a lot of people just saying a lot of stuff too. So yeah, my name is Aaron Knight, and um, if you guys like to see other YouTubers throw tantrums. Why? Just say put in the comment section below saying who wants to see a tan being tantrum being thrown. But yes, I said it wrong. But either way, like, just if if you got popular by the things you make, just keep on doing it. That's it's called an investment for a reason. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time.